We are back to Mass Effect! You know, I got some crap from some people for choos choosing Ashley over Caden in the last episode. But, uh, you know what? I thought that I was pretty clear of which one I was going to choose based on the poll, so I stick by my defense. Okay, let's, uh, let's do our whole talk to everybody. Oh, we still got the sad music going on, too. Oh, man. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're going to go talk to some people. We're going to uh, sell a whole bunch of crap. Uh, make sure that uh, Garrus and Liara are fully decked out in the best gear I can give them. And then uh, go from there. And from there, that means we head to Ilos. Um, I've got a lot of time to stream today, so I might actually be able to hit this and then the next bit after that. Uh, and who knows, maybe even get into Mass Effect 2. Uh, but uh, we'll see as time permits, and uh, go from there. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, I just don't know if I could have done it. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander, I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Damn right. So, Commander Shepard's boyfriend is kind of dead. Rex, who is also one of my favorite characters, also dead. Man. Such a bummer. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. Of course. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? There's nothing noble about Saren or what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. And there's nothing else to talk about, though, so... I should go. Yeah, that's right. Goodbye. You should go. Hi, Dr. Chakwas. Wish you had more dialogue to talk about. Let's go talk to K. Oh. Bummer. Let's see if there's a picture of him or something in my room. No, still incredibly sparse. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Like, it's cool that you get a room, but they do absolutely nothing with it in this game. The lonely elevator ride by myself down to the lower deck. I don't know, we'll see once we get to Mass Effect 2 if we preferred this elevator or an actual loading screen. But, you know, at least we get the really sad music. Woo! Okay, let's start off by talking to Re- Oh. Hey, who are these guys? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. 
He knew what the risks were. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. No, I just only leave my own the people behind. The mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. <sighs> hey, you spacist. I hope you're happy that we saved you. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not... Hell, you're screwed. I have to be worth Caden's life. What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Oh, <laughs> that's funny there. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Okay, Garrus, hopefully you can cheer me up. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. You also died a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. I always knew C-Sex methods were flawed, but it's more than that. I can see now just how dangerous that type of thinking can be. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. You know, the plus side of having two crew members dead is that you get through uh, talking to everybody a lot faster. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? And there is absolutely nothing else left for Tally to talk about. That's kind of bummer. I should go. See you later. Wow, she didn't care about Caden or Rex at all, too. All right, let's see. The Ares Locker, let's get her. Actually, you know what, let's get me suited up first. That is a way better rifle. Uh, Garrus, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to steal one of your mods. Let's... how do we... I'll do that instead. Don't tell him I did that. Like, seriously, don't. He doesn't need to know.
Jeez, all I've got is freaking combat scanners? Yeah, no point. Okay, don't use that or the shotgun. Okay. Shepard's all set up. Sorry, this part always takes forever. Okay. Oops. Let's give you a combat scanner. And plenty of five, that's good. Plenty of five, okay, you're good. And Liara. Let's equip you. I know she uses her biotics a lot, but what weapon does she use? Is it a pistol? I think it might be. How'd she get such an upgrade? You know what? Garrus is always, like, poisoned. I should probably change his armor mod. Oh, or give him a second one. That works. Do I have two? I don't think I do, do I? No, just the one. Alright, let's go sell the crap out of everything. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Okay, so... Wow, look at that cash. I don't even know what that just did. Shields are kind of crap. This is the Spectre one, right? Yeah. That's like almost all my money. Holy crap. Okay, not doing that. Probably got better armor, so. I'll buy back now. 
Okay, well. That's everything, I guess. Let's move on to Ilos. Woohoo! Man, I was kind of hoping for some better armor. Oops. I thought somewhere it said that I get medium armor, but maybe that was someone else. Oh no, that was Garrus, I think. Dang it. Oh well. Okay, command deck. Yeah, I think there's still, like I said, that DLC on the map. Um, I don't really care about playing that. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gaff. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Guess we're not going to Ilos right away. I kind of totally forgot about this. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. I just want to punch everyone. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I freaking hate Udina. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on me, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. I love it when the textures don't pop in. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Isn't this an elevator? Oh, there we go. Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is being shut Good. down. Difficult living conditions combined with poor yield of viable discoveries made it economically unfeasible to keep the colony going. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising Ugh. news. The rich keep getting richer and the poor keep on dying. So, Garrus, Liara, guess what? If I have to choose one of you to die, I'm going to choose Liara, because Garrus is my buddy. Just, you know, don't let her know that. Just kidding, Liara, you're my favorite. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I totally don't remember how to get anywhere here. Uh, let's see. I think this is the Spectre Requisition area. I'm going to see if that assault rifle is a little cheaper. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. That'd be great if I could wear it. that assault rifle. There it is. You know what? I'm totally gonna get it. Because it's I, it's the best assault rifle you can get. And I'm also gonna get this too. Yeah. Apparently I was wrong in some of my decimal places. This thing like never runs out of ammo. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Hey, can I get a heat sink from you? Cause that would be stellar. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. You don't have any of those extra bits, do you? That sounded weird. I don't mean extra bits. Let's definitely get this, and this, and this, and this. That's right. I 
No, oh, I forgot this music is just so amazing. I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Chorus Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Captain Anderson. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Sorry, lady, I just met at a bar who said I'd do something for you. I... oh. I guess I still can. Okay. Never mind, lady. Gonna fix your thing. Hi, Bouncer. Hey, good to see another human. You spacist. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and... Maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. 
I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right, uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. I really hope he does get help. I really didn't think I was going to be doing Citadel missions, but, you know, whatever. There's Jenna. I saw her. There we go. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSIC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care She looks of just like her sister. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and Oh good, because you have a weird face. Stubborn girl. Alright. Let's go talk to what's her face? Chilik. Who the heck is Chilik? Like, did I see that right? That's a weird name. Hey. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That's Chalik. What's he up to? I guess we better go find out. Back to the academy. Anything you want, you can find for sale. Oh, good to know. Um, what the heck? Why is the Citadel Academy not on this? I guess I'm walking. Oh. Hey, it's the right door. Awesome. Hey, it's Conrad Werner. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. Is there something I can do for you? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. Uh, uh, sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. This is creepy. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love Someone married him? Okie dokie. Did I get this one? I guess it did. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Yeah, cram your honor. What's this riot about? 
I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow <laughs> anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Yeah, no. I Again, I... I can't believe we got Paragon points for not being a spacist. There we go, CSEC Academy. Oh my god, it's an elevator! It's a hidden elevator! Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That wasn't me, was it? I mean, it could be. I've, I've done a lot. I kind of don't remember everything, though. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just pretend it was someone else and I'm sure everything's fine. Right? Okay, apparently someone's waiting for me around here. Where are you? Whatever your name was. Let's see, I don't think you're down here. Nope, that's that guy. Yeah, keep up. That's the elevator up. Oh, there he is. Detective Chelly, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? What's your tone, Chellick? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Shrewd, Detective. Very shrewd. As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Come on, Chalik. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Cora's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. <sighs> I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Eh. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna just continue on with the story. I don't need all the rest of these.
Oh, Liara, what was that? Were you checking out my butt? That is very unladylike of you. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Unfortunately, Shepard refused to answer questions, raising concerns regarding the specter's commitment to humanity. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Again, I'm not a spacist. What don't these people understand? Aliens are cool. Except maybe Rex. I had to kill him. But that's something entirely different. We're not worried about that. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't. <laughs> you go, Anderson. Freeze! Back away from the console. Hands up! Now! What the hell? Obviously, I've never seen that before. Whoa. I hope he's okay. Jeez. <laughs> be funny, I should just go back to the Citadel. And what, guys? Alright, Ilos, let's do this. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. You're the only one I can trust to get it done. There's a criminal leader named Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. Wouldn't an Alliance negotiator be better suited for this assignment? Darius won't respect an Alliance negotiator. He built his empire by killing his rivals. But with your very public achievements, you represent a strong image that Darius has to respect. Show him that the Alliance won't back down. Show him he better make peace while he can. I still think this is a mistake, Admiral. You're not under my command, but we need you for this job. You're the only one that could get it done right. The meeting will take place on a remote barren planet. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. I'm also transmitting the background for this negotiation. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, so where do I go for that? Uh, at the rendezvous point in the planet Nonule, in the Plutus system of the Hades Gamma Cluster. Hades, Plutus, Nonule. I 
And by the way, the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm still trying to keep to about our episodes. So even though I'm going to be streaming a lot, I'm still going to break up the uh, YouTube video. So we'll take care of this and then head to Ilos because, you know, it's important. Got to do some negotiation. Did you see the seams on the skybox? And I'm getting some weird slight static coming through too, so sorry if that's coming across. Uh, where should I go? Let's go to that anomaly, because if there's anything I like, it's anomalies. Look at that hazard, man. There's some incendiary rounds. Yeah, level one hazard, not a good place apparently. Uh, let's see, do we care about that debris? I guess might as well. Might as well while we're here, right? I'm a good driver. Definitely a good driver. Yeah. Uh, that's great. There's no point. Awesome. Like seriously, there should be some total Dukes of Hazard music playing every time I make a kind of jump. Just the good old boys. Never meaning no harm. I think that's about all I know of the song, so feel lucky. Which way am I heading? The right way? Yeah. I just dated myself with that. Ah, whatever. I'm old. And besides, the Dukes of Hazzard, there were like two really horrible movies, weren't there? So, you know, I didn't date myself too bad. I'm not going to run into any Thresher Maws out here. Which, uh, since we didn't run into any of them, oh man. Guess we're going to be in for a surprise in Mass Effect 2. I should find one, though. Ugh, come on. Let's get you in close.
but she ended really close. Save it here, because I bet I'm gonna die inside. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they just don't want to kill me. It's always a bummer when that happens. Okay, it's Commander Shepard, let's kill her. This definitely looks like a place where a shootout's gonna happen. Uh, hey. I'd hope the Alliance would take this meeting seriously. Instead, they send me a woman. Were you supposed to use your assets to win Ugh, such a me? jerk. According to your file, your only mark of distinction is that you stupidly got your own soldiers killed on Torfin. I'm not here to put up with your crap, Darius. Shall we talk, or should I just shoot you now? You can't speak to me that way. You and your alliance owe me shit. Why, because you have paint on your face? You see this gun? This is your gun. Your military set me up here, and now it wants to pretend it doesn't know me. But I know the truth. The Alliance needed me here, so treat me with the respect I deserve! You said we set you up. Did the Alliance give you weapons? After the Batarians were driven out of the Verge, the Alliance wanted to stabilize the region. I had the strongest syndicate in the area. They gave me the weapons and money I needed to take over. So do not pretend we are so different, soldier! I deserve your Alliance's gratitude, not these attacks! You want the respect you deserve, you piece of crap? Here you go. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go! I will destroy you! That's Garrus. Jeebus, where is everybody? Come on, pop out. Meanwhile, you're flanking me. Come on, Liara, line of fire. So this is why you wanted to send me in, Hackett? Okay, apparently there's still someone alive, probably behind door number one! Cool thing that I can loot. Uh, upgrade kit, where are you? There you are. Bunch of rams of ammo that I won't use. Why am I singing? Hmm. I think over here first before I go through door number one. Well, technically two, because one was downstairs.
exit door opened. Oh, that's handy. Polonium round 7A. I need that one last point in Intimidate. Oh man! I wish I had had that before I sold all my crap. Eh, oh well. here. Let's get back to the Normandy. with Darius peacefully his death is no it's not he's a lunatic Unless the resulting chaos will create a power vacuum that makes future raids upon our miners unlikely you put Darius in power but he was getting greedy you wanted me to kill him the alliance does not condone assassination we would never give that order killing Darius was your decision alone and because you're a specter we couldn't reprimand you if we wanted to. Oh. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Commander. Fifth leader. Hack it, you dirty scoundrel, you. Okay, uh, this is a good stopping point uh, for recording the episode. I'm going to keep streaming, though. Uh, so one second here while I save it. Um, YouTube people, if you're watching this, uh, the 